people ask me all the time, hey Chris, how do you keep dust off of all of your statues, especially since they're all open air? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how I keep all the dust off my statues. But first things first, I do need to put on my safety glasses. Actually, these are just my Oakleys, but safety first. Here's exactly how I clean all of my statues. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm actually just kidding. Let's see how I dust all my statues. That's up next. It's Chris the Batman Statue Collector, your Dark Knight of Collecting, and welcome back to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. I'm so glad that you found us today because today we're going to talk about the ultimate enemy of any collector. No, it's not high shipping costs. No, it's not rising prices of our statues. The ultimate enemy of a collector is dust. And dust will always find a way to try to get to your collectible. Trust me, it doesn't matter whether it's a $5 item or a $7,000 item. Dust will find a way, trust me. And over the years, I've tried different things to keep dust off my statues. If you guys know my collection, you know it's open air, which means that it's open to the air. It's literally open to the air. It has nothing around it. It has no sides, it has no glass, nothing. A lot of collectors, they have all that stuff to try to keep dust away. They go to Ikea or they try to make their own items. They go to Walmart and buy bookshelves. There's all these different things that collectors do to try to keep, keep dust out. Those are great, but I personally like my statues to breathe. I like to be able to have them out on display. I feel it looks a little bit more museum-like and that's just what I personally like. So I have to come up with a solution here to try to fix my problem with dust. Now, the leaf blower, it works, but I don't recommend it, okay? So don't use a leaf blower uh, on your collection. It's gonna knock stuff over. I have some tricks up my sleeve. I don't really have a sleeve right now, but I have some tricks up my sleeve that are going to help you with your dust problem if you have an open air solution like me, okay? It doesn't matter whether you're a veteran collector, this might help, or also if you're a newbie to the hobby. I hope this helps, uh, you know, try to, fix this problem because again, you're always going to lose the battle against dust unless you stay on top of it and you are very diligent with what you're doing. Okay? So I'm going to show you right here exactly what I do to keep the dust off my statues. But before we do that, I'm going to ask if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit that like button. That does help people just like you find this content. And of course, take it one step further and hit that notification bell. That's going to notify you every single time I put out new content. Okay? So let me show you first what I use. Okay? It's right here. And it is, drum roll, a Swiffer duster. Okay? Let me show you uh, exactly what that looks like. It's uh, very uh, dirty, dusty. I do not use this for my statues. I use this for the countertops uh, where my statues sit, my display cases. This is really great. Uh, I take a little bit of pledge or whatever and I spray it on really lightly and I use this to dust those display cases. Now, uh, again, could you use this on a statue? Probably. Um, I just feel like this stuff gets caught on the statues. If you try to do it, it gets caught. Uh, I, I wouldn't use any sort of pledge or dusting material that spray stuff. I wouldn't use that on your collectibles. That's just my opinion. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to put that stuff, I don't want to put those chemicals on my statues. So again, I use this for the countertops, okay? This is what I use for the actual statues themselves, okay? Uh, drum roll please, it's gonna be quite amazing. Bum, ba, da, ta. Makeup brushes. That's right. Let me show you right here. Makeup brushes. That's right. These were purchased from the lovely Walmart. Of course, you can buy makeup brushes at all kinds of places, Walgreens and Safeway and whatever. Um, but these are just simply makeup brushes. Now, these are the makeup brushes that I chose. Of course, uh, my other option was a really pretty pink unicorn brush. But I decided that this looked maybe a little bit more... I don't know, bat cave like a little bit more man-like, I don't know. Um, it's a little awkward, let me tell you, buying some of these makeup brushes, but these are the tricks of the trade, buying these makeup brushes. Now, I bought a set here um, with all different shapes and sizes, okay? My favorite one is the one in the middle. Actually, it's this one. I call this one Alfred, 
okay? Alfred is my special friend. It's very soft, it's very nice, uh, but really, in all honesty, let me show you what it looks like here. Hopefully it's in focus for you guys. Um, this thing is incredibly, incredibly soft. It will get in all of those nooks and crannies that you're struggling with to get dust out. Um, head sculpts, um, tops of bases, whatever you are dusting, whatever collectible you have, this is really good at getting the dust off of them. And it's not going to hurt your statues in any way. It's going to protect them because it's so soft. These bristles are so fine that literally dust is going to be flying off of your statues. You're going to see it. Okay, so this one is my favorite. Alfred is my favorite, but there's also other ones like I showed you in my collection here. And basically, I like this one. These are also really good right here. Uh, like these, like this, see how that's kind of like a wedge? This one's really good at getting in some of those lines. Like, um, like I'm looking at Harley Quinn here. She's got all the little lines on the top of her hair, all those little grooves. You can take this brush and you can really get into all of those those little tiny places. Um, again, those bigger brushes that I showed you, those are perfect for the all around dusting. Uh, but these little tiny brushes are great. Um, some of them have wedges like I just showed you. Some of them are just kind of smaller like this one right here. Um, they're just great to get into those really small places. Now that, the big one, I'm gonna come back to Alfred here. Alfred right here, this one, so if I can get it in focus for you guys, I don't know if it will or not. But anyway, Alfred is great because I use this one probably 98% of the time. This, this will get in just about all the areas. But I am going to show you uh, some cases where you might want to use something a little bit finer uh, to get in those little nooks and crannies. But basically, makeup brushes, this is the trick of the trade, folks. Um, it's great, great for dusting, okay? So I'm going to show you now uh, how I dust. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the Joker and Harley Quinn here. Uh, let me just kind of work my way down. Uh, but basically, like you see all the grooves in Harley's hair. Uh, it's a great place for dust to get. So I just simply wipe it down like this, uh, like all these little folds on her, um, on her blouse. Bam, hit it. Hit it with this brush. Uh, again, this is an all-around brush. Anywhere there's like crevices here, um, just or flat areas, that is a perfect place to get uh, dust off. Uh, like the top of her baseball bat right here, you know? Make sure you get up top there. I noticed that there's some dust back here on her arm. So I'm gonna come in here and just simply get that dust out of there and now it's gone, bam. Uh, tops of bases, uh, like all these crevices here. You can see all these little crevices. Uh, just go in with this brush and get all of these things off of here. Okay, tops of this. You know, everywhere there's a flat surface, basically, is a place where you can get this dust off of here. Let's move over to the Joker here. Uh, like, this would be a top area where a lot of dust would settle uh, on his shoulders. See all these little grooves uh, all throughout there? Exactly, just like that. Um, again, there's, like, look at these little spaces here. Like, all of these little spaces is where dust can get. Um, top of his pants. Corner of his elbow. You know, top of his hair. Again, just take your time about once a week. It doesn't take very long. Hit the flat areas, you know, the vertical areas. They don't get too bad. You know, dust doesn't really capture right here, but they do on top of his hair, on top of these bases. Um, you know, here's Batman. Every week I come through here and I comb his cowl, I comb his shoulder pads. Get that dust off of there. Arkham Knight, same thing, top of his dome. You wanna clean it off, clean the shoulder pads, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my smaller brushes here and I'm gonna come over here to my sideshow case, okay? Um, so like, here's Poison Ivy, okay, here's Poison Ivy. Uh, look at all the folds in her hair, this is an older piece, okay? Look at all of those little nooks and crannies. So here I have the chisel brush. And what I do with the chisel brush is like, I'll come in here where it's fine details and make sure that the dust is out of there, okay? I'll just simply make sure the dust is out of there. Um, or maybe Joker's hair here. Look at all, the, I mean, look at all this fine area. So you can come in here and do that, you know? Usually, like I said though, the big brush will work just as good for something like this. I'm gonna go back to that big brush here. Let me grab it real quick. I've got my big brush here, and let's go over here to the Joker. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you about him is like his hair. Um, 
again, use the big brush, get all of that hair off here, or all the dust off the hair. Um, you know, you can come down here in the lip, because the dust can, anywhere there's a flat area, like, like I said. Um, also, this is another area that is a big concern for collectors that have fabric. Uh, dust can definitely get on this fabric. And again, just simply take your brush and brush it off. Get the dust off of there. Because, um, again, fabric will really attract dust and it will just be awful. But I find that if I use this, if I use this brush right here, it will take it off. Um, again, for the flat surfaces, I use the Swiffer. But anything like this, again, coming through here, back to Ivy's hair, Killer Croc, all these little spaces here, again, once a week, it's important to do. And it will work on all of these collectibles, trust me. But, again, you have to be diligent. And you have to go every week and make sure that all of this dust is taken off. All right, guys, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, a little bit of dusting 101. Um, but that's how you keep dust off your statues. Um, I do mine, again, I do mine about once a week. Uh, if you go longer than that, the dust can really start to settle on your statues. I've seen some collectors that never dust, and it leaves a giant thick layer, and I, I don't know exactly what it can do to a statue. I, I can damage the paint, or it just creates like a film. Um, and if you're somebody that wants to keep your collection for a long time, or you ever want to resell it to somebody, you know, don't have this giant layer of dust on your statue. You want to sell it to somebody that's going to appreciate it and it feels like new to them, just like it felt new to you, okay? So it's important to keep up with these statues. You pay a lot of money on these statues and you should spend a little time taking care of your art with as much money as you spent on your art. Okay, so that's very important. So if you've always been worried and scared about keeping your statues open air, I'm telling you, makeup brushes will really make a difference, okay? Now, these are just my techniques. These are what I use. I know there's a lot of veteran collectors out there. I wanna hear from you. I want to hear from you if there's other things that you do other than the, uh, the, the leaf blower, don't, don't mention that. But anyway, I wanna know down below in the comments, what do you use? Because maybe I will read that, maybe a new collector will read that and be inspired on how they can take care of their collection, okay? Also, if you're new here, please let me know if you have ever even heard of something like this or if this is something that you're gonna try now to help take care of your collection and keep that evil dust off of your statues or collectibles, okay? Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. I really appreciate it today. I hope this helped. I hope it inspired you on how you can take care of your collection. I love to know. I love to read your comments. I just thank you so very much for taking your time to watch today. It means the world to me. Again, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, like button, hit that notification bell, and that really helps support the channel. I thank you guys so very much. It just means the world to me. I want to continue to grow this channel and get better, so thank you guys so very much for your support. It means the world to me. If you want to take it even one step further, you can join our uh, BSC membership group. Um, the, hit the join button down below and they'll tell you all about it. It's just another way to help support the channel. So thank you guys for that. As always, I thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the back cave. Now let's dust ya. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.